This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. So yeah, we ended last time after we were all captured by the Shinra, but I did note that we did wake up and notice that our door is open here. I can talk to Tifa now or not. Yeah. Door's open. When did it open? Is knocked out or is he dead? What's happened? Tifa, wake up. What's wrong? Something's wrong. Get outside. Wonder what happened. Should have the key on him. Come on, Tifa. Get Eris. I'll go help Barrett and the others. So now Red is known as the others. Barrett, Red 13. Come with me. Something's wrong. How'd you get in? Why'd the door open? You opened it, Barrett. Must have been attacked by... This is kind of eerie. The hell's going on? No human could have done this. I'll go on ahead. I'll clean up back here, so you guys go ahead. Don't get caught by Shinra. Are they going to say anything different now? Come on, let's follow Red 13. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about switching equipment, I suppose. This makes the material... Oh, I was going to say, you can... To switch from a person, but I see it unequipped everything that's not on cloud, so. That'll do. Now, if you look around, you can see there are other bodies laying around here, and there's blood in some areas, it looks like. But we do still have random encounters here as well. I haven't seen these guys yet. Brain pod. What could we steal from a brain pod, I wonder? I actually don't know. I don't remember, at least. Okay, well, they're gonna be kind of a pain because I got a lot of status effect type of stuff. So I think I'll stop trying to steal and we'll just take them out. Even in the battle screens here, you can see there's blood all over the floor. Cloud's just sleeping and poisoned. Big deal. Oh. No comments when you look at that guy, I guess. Or that one. There's red. And this is where Genova was. Did it get away? Genova? 
a Nova specimen. So I could went up to the upper floor using that elevator for the specimens. Didn't have a head. Guess it's still alive? I don't know. I will utilize the save point here. And yes, there's a trail of blood from that elevator even. Couple of different enemies. A Vargan police. And a Benin. Probably more of Hojo's experiments or something. In Ghana? It looks like it leads up. Blood on the walls, blood on the floor. Yep, all the way heading up the stairs here. Yeah, we didn't have access to this floor before, but other than the save point there, I don't think there's anything really to interact with or to do. But let's just follow the blood, blood stains. A lot of these enemies are all about poisoning and sleep and all that good stuff. The first one's probably almost dead, so we'll use the cross slash on the second one. Piazzo Shower. the easiest enemies, but certainly not tough either. Now we're back at the top, the president's office. But, that sword. He's dead? The leader of Shinra Inc. is dead. Then this sword must be Stepperoth's. Stepperoth is alive? Looks like it. Only Stepperoth can use that sword. Who cares who did it? This is the end of the Shinra now. Uh. Yeah, Palmer. But, but please don't kill me. What happened? 
Sephiroth. Sephiroth came. Did you see him? Did you see Sephiroth? Yeah, I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes. Really saw him? Uh, would I lie to you at a time like this? And I heard his voice, too. Um, he was saying something about not letting us have the promised land. Then what? Does that mean that the promised land really exists and that Sephiroth's here to save it from the Shinra? So, he's a good guy then? Save the promised land? A good guy? No way. It's not that simple. I know him. Sephiroth's mission is different. Palmer, Palmer gets away and runs. Rufus. Yeah, I forgot about him. Who's that? Vice President Rufus, the president's son. Rufus, yeah. I heard that he's been assigned somewhere else for a long time. I only know his name. I've heard that no one's ever seen him bleed or cry. I'm not sure if they're talking about Sephiroth or Rufus. Because they're not seeing him bleed or cry sounds like Sephiroth, kind of. I wonder what kind of person he is. But then that could be Rufus. Yeah, I, I really don't know. Can we interact with the president? Debag him? Yeah. I think you get an opportunity to change things yet, so for now let's just head out here. Talk to Rufus. All dressed in white. So, so Sephiroth was actually here. By the way, who are you guys? Cloud, former soldier, first class. I'm from Avalanche. Same here. A flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. What a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, president of Shinra Inc. The only president because your old man died. That's right. I'll let you hear my new appointment speech. Old man tried to control the world with money. It seems to have been working. The population thought that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra. Get your pay. If a terrorist attacks, the Shinra army will help you. It looks perfect on the outside. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. It takes too much to do it like my old man. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste money on them. He likes to make speeches just like his father. Out of this building with Eris. What? I'll explain later, Barrett. This is the real crisis for the planet. The hell is that supposed to mean? I'll tell you later. Just take my word for it now. I'll go after I take care of him. All right, Cloud. And we actually ship to this group first. Cloud, just thought of something. I'll wait for Cloud. Everyone, get to the elevator. It's going to get pretty ugly from here on. We should check on our equipment. Okay, so we do have this group now. As far as materia goes, I think I could still... Yeah, I could still go in here and remove Tifas and Cloud stuff if it didn't automatically. And let's just actually... Yeah, 
remove all and arrange it so we can just start from scratch and make sure everybody's equipped as I want them to be. That talisman is actually off a cloud automatically, so I can put that on somebody. Carbon bangles are still not, though. She can get a slight upgrade here, though. Alright, she is still going to be my healer. I'm going to give him a lightning elemental attack. Give him a fire all. And a steel. And a sense. Give her a sense and an enemy skill. Give him cover. Let's lift. Okay, that should do. That should be all of the area. Guess just to make sure, let's just arrange it, because then anything would come to the top. Um, that should be fine, I think. Basically, we just have to go to the elevator. I don't think what floor matters, so let's just go to this one. Because we're just trying to get out of the building now. But, we do actually have a battle here. It doesn't have the boss music, although technically I kind of consider this to be a boss fight. Harder than some of the boss fights, probably. And it is, it is long distance, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, she won't be able to reach there. That is one of the reasons I tried to give everybody magic. Barret can use long distance because he has a gun, he'll just shoot. And I think with the lightning elemental added to his weapon, that should give an extra boost against a mechanical enemy. Let me see what he does when he just uses Bolt as a spell. Okay, I can't steal either. Wasn't sure if I could or not, I just thought I'd try it. Yeah, the attack did a little less than the spell, but... I think overall... It's probably better to just use the attack, because that won't waste MP. Now, if I build up limits, I think those will reach long distance. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're about halfway done. Yeah, let's just use healing wind there. It's a nice free heal. And yeah, if you didn't catch his name, it was Hundred Gunner. For another phase, kind of. Sensor cannon charging. Okay. Maybe we can take him out before he uses whatever that's going to do. Alright, it is charged. We got him. 
but it goes straight into another fight. So let's sense this guy. It's A B Cannon. That's the I think that's the move he's using. Yeah, that's not his name. He is Telegunner. Because yeah, he's got like helicopter blades spinning there to keep him aloft. Probably actually gonna have her wake Red 13 up. See if we can hit him. Okay, so he's got 730 left. Blood Bang should reach him. Ah, dang it. Eric to sleep. That woke up Baird anyway, I think. Oh. This shouldn't take too long, though. He's spinning around. Let's just check where he's at. Not only 160 left. Yeah, it'll be two hits and he'll be done. Probably wouldn't have had to heal red there, but that's fine. Well, the Big Shot will finish him off if the other two magic packs don't get him. Uh, I guess Big Shot goes off sooner, so that should do it. And that is the end of the battle. Like Barrett's foot was going through the floor there. And Barrett learned Mind Blow. We got another Mithril armlet. I don't think I'd need any of those, though. all of it off so I can just give him what I want because this is going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle pretty sure poison works in this one I guess we'll just give him a restore because why not lightning protection maybe I don't know it shouldn't matter too much maybe a steal if I'm feeling squirrely That should be good enough. Why do you want to fight me? You seek the promised land and Sephra. Exactly. Hmm. Did you know that Sephroth is an ancient? A lot has happened. Anyway. I can't let either you or Sephiroth have the promised land. I see. I guess this means we won't be f become friends. Now this one has the boss music. And yeah, he has his dog with him. He has a shotgun. But yes, I am pretty sure you can actually inflict poison on him. So that'll just kind of drain him as the fight goes here. So yeah, Rufus and Dark Nation. Let's use Cross Slash on the dog to see if we can get him out of here. 
But yeah, he did use that barrier on both of them, so they have added physical resistance. I wonder if it works on the dog, too. Yeah, not exactly a dog, I guess, but kind of dog-like. Okay, he's done. I'll see if I can get a steal. Okay, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> Did he laugh at me for trying to steal? <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is an overly lengthy fight or anything. Especially with the poison on him, that helps it go down. Yeah, maybe this will finish it. Or paralyze him, at least. Just to make sure we don't get killed off here, I am going to heal once. That's all for today. He leaves like a badass, just grabs the railing on the helicopter and holds on. Got a protect vest and a guard source. Pretty sure the protect vest is another accessory. Yeah, raises vitality by 10. Nothing else to do up here. And yes, Tifa is still waiting here for us. Where's Rufus? Couldn't finish him. Looks like this looks like things are gonna get complicated. Yeah, I guess I could have used the save point. I thought I could still use it after I talked to her, but it shouldn't be an issue. I do actually want to go back up to the gift shop here. I think I could probably open those two treasures that were up here before. Because I don't think there's anybody in here anymore. Oh, she's still there. Hmm. Maybe it's later in the game if I come back here I can do that. I don't know. Those are cheap enough. Figured I might as well get multiple copies. I think we just need to try to leave through the front door. I guess I never re equipped this group. I don't think it matters, though. I don't think we have to fight here. I'll go on here. Shit. Surrounded, huh? If I was alone, this wouldn't be a thing, but I got a reputation to protect. You all get out while you can. It's not you they're after, it's me. Yeah, well that ain't happening. You got caught up in this over Marlene. Now it's my turn to watch out for you. Okay, playtime's over for you jackasses. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. Who you call him Mr. Barrett? That don't sound right. Well then, if you were through talking, may I suggest that we think of a way to get out of here? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Oh man. Just like someone else around here, I know. Did you say something? Not a thing. So, what are we gonna do? Barrett! Tifa, where's Cloud? Everyone, over here. Huh? What's up? Where's Cloud? I'll tell you later. Hurry, hurry! 
another awesome sequence going here. We get a little bit of a movie scene while riding a motorcycle. That's a, bit, a little bit of a small truck. Barrett takes up most of the back on his own. And it's like a three-wheeled thing. I don't know. Maybe that's more of a... If they were just making up that kind of vehicle. Or maybe that's something they have like over in Japan. I don't know. So control the bike with the directional buttons and save your friends in the truck from the Shinra Pursuit Troops. The uh, X and Square will attack on the side. And we do have a chance to go into the menu. I'm probably fine with this party, but we are going to re-equip them. We are actually going to go ahead and call it here for today, so we're going to leave you wondering what the game is going to be here if you haven't ever seen it <laughs> most of you probably have but we'll pick up here and go through the great the bike mini game type of thing so thanks for watching and if you've been enjoying the content so far please like comment and subscribe or follow and we'll catch you next time